Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. My name is Frankie Kingston. I'm known as a wise entrepreneur, and I have a very good friend of mine and my guest speaker on my YouTube channel. It's a great Ronnie Green. Ronnie, how are you, my good friend? I am fine, thank you. You know, considering that we're in strange times, I am fine. You know, I mean, I hope that, the, you know, I hope you, the Great Britain is fine. You know what I mean? We've got to support each other. Yeah, positiveness. Thank you so much, Ronnie. So that's Ronnie Green. And I'm really glad that you're tuning in. We've got so much to talk about. Ronnie's going to share some projects, what we're actually doing. And I'm really excited to be doing that with Ronnie. He's got so much experience. And we've got a story to tell our audience and just tell our viewers something what is really important, what you need to hear. So you know who I am, and you know my guest speaker, Ronnie Green. He's a great guy. He's, a, he's an artist. He's an artist in many different fields. And mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the word art. Why is art important? The word important, the, the word art is so important. And we're going to touch on why it is and how it can help us all and help you viewers. So you must listen yeah. to what we're saying and take it on board. Ronnie, we're talking about the importance of the word art. Yes. What's it meant for you, Ronnie, your life? And we're going to talk well, the about funniest, it today. The funniest thing is creativity is art, okay? And for me, the A-R-T was all right teach. It, it put something which was about a concept which everything what you were taught basically was about creativity, yeah? And heart is close to my art, and I think it's close to quite many other people's art. And the other thing which we all grew up watching Walt Disney. We grew up watching cartoons. We drew, grew up actually, you know, Mr. The, the, the Mr. Ralph Harris with the drawings and everything like that. Art. As you can see behind me, I have the Iron Man, I have the uh, Statue of Liberty, I have the Alpha Tap, and I have so many different things. Me, I have so many different things around me that visually take me to a place where my body can't go. You know what I mean? And I think that's what art allows us to do. It allows us to pass forward or backwards. In creativity, we can see dinosaurs, we can see so many different things that we would not normally see put together. Yeah. And the one thing what I'm going to tell you about, the other thing which I like about art is food. I see food as art, even though I enjoy, but that creativity, you know, when you're more, more dad or, you know, my mom always used to make us a drink and, and that tastes. It was art, the way she made it, it was art. And that's how I see art. It's about putting a feeling out there where other people can share it with us, you know? And that's amazing. Thank you so much, Ronnie. I loved your expression of the word art. I'm looking at seeing them journeys behind you. Amazing yes. drawings. And what we have to understand as well, ladies and gentlemen, is that art, it's such a beautiful word, isn't it, Ronnie? But it's such a beautiful yeah. word that if Definitely. we can instill it in our lives and see... Our it's an international world, world is what, what you're saying. It's an international world. Art goes around the world. Yep. Um, the more I see how we have now got the internet, okay? This is the great thing. This is where art, the thought pattern, of thinking to be able to see someone, to talk to someone, to share the moments we would normally share with in a letter. You know, you could imagine us phoning each other and not seeing each other. You understand what I mean? And I think this is pro pro progression from the first caveman who draw drew the uh, picture of this dinosaur, or even the flower, and it gave children in the villages an opportunity to see something which they would never really see until they were older and i think this is the great asset about artistic licensing artistic arts and creativity it's not about destruction i mean as you know I'm, i do martial arts yeah Talk, tell and them I wonder, 
I wondered to myself, why would you call the martial arts? Because as we were talking about arts about creativity. And the more I started to study the arts, I started to see that it was about cre creativity rather than destruction. You understand what I mean? Because the thing about arts, there's always something else, then there's something else, then there's something else, then there's something else. And I think that's what, after a while, the puzzle, I saw it so clear why you called it art. You understand know what I mean? And yeah. the main thing which I really understood was when you see someone smiling, you know that person has been touched by art itself. That's great, Ronnie. It's so therapeutic, isn't it, art, Ronnie? So art is so therapeutic. The heart, yeah. for the soul, for the person, it's therapeutic. It brings out qualities within us. The, you know, the funniest thing, the art beat, you know, you, we've got the art beating, right? Yeah. Now, that is a dance in itself. Now, the funniest thing what I noticed was when I heard the clock ticking, you're on that level that I personally see that you're moving with stillness, and yet you're actually still with movement. And it's combining that together, okay? The oneness of it. And I think that's what art allows us to apply in so many different ways. Cooking is an art. The taste and everything else, which is about creativity for us to go, wow, that's, that was lovely. You know, I remember making a drink of coffee and drink it. You know what it's like when you very first get the opportunity, your mom or more, your dad allows you to make a drink, okay? And you've got in your head, you're going to make this drink. But the very first time you make a drink, it doesn't taste like what mom and dad, how they made it. You understand what I mean? And automatically, then after a while, you start looking and going, well, how come my doesn't taste the same as the experienced person, okay? And that's what life is about. That's what art is about. You understand what I mean? And, and then all of a sudden you start feeling something. I, I'm, of course, I'm a Bruce Lee fan, okay? You, and that you know, that concept of him talking about the feel is a different altogether, unless you've actually felt it. I mean, what we felt the different temperature of water, we're instantly aware that it can be ice cold and it can be very, very, very hot. Now, this is where art itself takes us to that place. You can see a picture of a boiling kettle and instantly you sense it. You can see a picture of a snowman and you can actually sense the coldness. And I think this is what art allows us to do. It allows us to go through all these different genres just by watching, just by listening, just by smelling. You understand what I mean? And I think we can take society forward with all these injections of art. Remember Popeye? Yep. Yeah? Popeye was, you know what I mean? Popeye was there on television. Popeye helped me to eat spinach. You understand what I mean? <laughs> because, of course, when you're young, yes, that was the key thing. So you're eating spinach. Now, cabbage is like spinach, okay? <laughs> and then lettuce and everything like that. So to a certain extent, it was green. Yep. Papaya had it. At first, what's the difference between Brussels sprouts and peas and everything like that? When you're young, you've got to learn all these different things. The elder ones, of course, They've gone through that journey. And I think this is what art allows us to do is go through different genres of a journey that we have been there before or we've got to actually go there. Yep. Think about this. What has been in more artistic pictures has been the moon. 
the moon itself, which we more or less, I've never been there, but we've seen so many, many, many times. And now, of course, man is supposed to be up there. But the moon played the biggest part of us growing up. It's funny you said that, Ronnie, because yeah. every day I will guarantee that I will look up at the moon. Okay. And I will look up and I will observe its beauty, its brightness, the fact it's always there, the moon. And I look at it and think, that is an amazing work of art. Okay. And the sun, the sun is the same. No Thank matter you. what's going on, the clouds, the wind, or the, the bad weather, the sun is always shining. That is an art of itself. Would you agree with that, Ronnie? Definitely. And then we've got Mother Earth itself. Right? We have got three different planets right which have different qualities now the key thing both of them all three of them are round okay now the most funniest thing what i noticed is that when i look at our bodies it fits on the planet we're like tuning forks but the tuning fork is our feet are on the floor and our heads in the air but if you put us upside down we're like tuning forks you understand know I me mean? Yeah, we'll get that. And the main thing, it's like now today with this, we have to tune into this. Now, that's what the sun and the moon is allowing the planet from the tides waving and the clouds and the weather. Everything is really tuned in, which we've been able to actually now put down by, by writing about the weather, about the sun, about the moon, about, and it's given us guidance. You know, the, the, we're talking about how the ozone layers and so many different, 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 different things that the planet itself is educated at all because we're, we seem to use and watch the familiar actions of certain things. And then we started to write about it. Now, it's so funny. That's how I started to look at the martial arts because the concept of that journey is that it's there already, but actually what happens with the sun and the moon, it's consistently going around the planet. So when we don't see it, the sun is still blazing and the moon is still there. And also don't forget mother earth is still turning. Three things all happening all together at once in their own genre, allowing us all to be alive all of us to be alive it's not just us it's the insects it's 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 the clouds it's so many different things all at once and we just go oh well it's just another day it's an amazing day with so many different things happening which i've always said if it's all different then it has to be the same in that genre of being different and I don't think people realize that. When you look at all the differences, it's all in one genre, okay? It's different. So doesn't that really make different the same? I think that's amazing, Ronnie. So the art, what we're talking about here, Ronnie, is that everything yeah. is working in sync together, totally. connecting this together. Amazing. Well, art in itself, in that beauty. Well, look, look at this. We're, we've got a living body. Now, I know I've never seen myself, which is in this body. But I can see the body. I, I can recognize, like Michael Jackson, his image is being shown all over the world. He's not here, but his image is. Okay? My image, which I see every day, is not me, but it's my image. Now, why I'm saying this is that we know that certain people can suffer from amnesia and not even know that this is their body and actually what they are in. They will say, this is not me. And, as, and of course, there's many people, males and females will say, well, I'm a man in a woman's body or I'm a woman in a man's body. So Ronnie, that could be likened to like an outer body experience. Of course. It's not really me. It's an out of the experience I'm having. 
Mm. Well, let, let me explain this to you. We all look out of our windows of our homes, right? Our homes are all different. Now, people may not see you, but they'll say that's your house or that's your car or that's your shoes or that's your book. But they don't actually see you. Now, none of us can honestly say we've seen ourselves. We can see that the body we use is our body, but not one of us on this planet has actually seen ourselves, wow. okay? But this is the key thing. We've put things on ourselves. When we're asleep, we don't need the body. But to get back into the place we are, we need the body now to move. Now, look at Stephen Hawkins, God rest his soul. The window was his eyes. His body, he could not use the way we could use it, but his hair, the intelligence of the man, that he had traveled around the world without really having to move. You understand know what I mean? An intelligent concept, which I would say is intelligent, fantastic, but none of us would want his body. None of us. So, Ronnie, that's amazing what you said. That was really powerful. What I'm getting from what you said there, Ronnie, is so I always believe the heart and the mind is always a battle going on. Totally. So, really, the mind is a very, very powerful tool, and we can use that, the capacity of us using our mind and studying and learning so much about the world to the best of our ability is immense. But what I understand as well, Ronnie, is that what I'm seeing as well, our heart is very pure. Our heart knows everything. It knows exactly what it wants and what it needs for the world. So what I'm saying here then, Ronnie, as an art and mm -hmm. as a Buddhist spiritual leader, for yes. me, the most important aspect here, I would probably say, are our mind and our heart. But our heart... It's like an energy. Our heart, we can take that anywhere we want out of the universe or through the universe okay. because that is totally. what matters most, the heart. The heart well, is what's going to go. It's never broken. It's like energy. It cannot be broken because the heart... Let me say it. this for you, right? The concept of the ACT, the act, okay, which basically, as I'm seeing... It's all about, from a media point of view, it's all about the act and the action. It doesn't have to be true, but it's about the act and the action, right? The more I start to look at this concept called hypnosis. Now, we're in mass hypnosis, okay? This society has been hypnotized from the 60s, from the 50s, from the 40s. Now we're in the two year 2000. Hypnosis is a massive, massive, massive thing, right? Why I'm saying we've never seen ourselves. There's two arguments you have with yourself, right? The first thing, are you mind? Are you the mind or are you yourself? Now the point about it, yourself, does not go outside. The act always. They've taught you how to act. From being small, you've been sat down. The adults have taught you how to act in certain places. And the more I started to look at the act, I realized that people were not doing what should be done. They were just acting. Yeah. They're not yeah. coming from the heart. They're not coming from the heart. They're not coming from themselves. Yeah. Because they're close ne you're never in that room. The body's in that room. But you yourself and never, because people will not allow you, adults will not allow you to be yourself, but they would want you to be the act. You can wash dishes, you can, you can make the bed, you can do all these different acts, and you get the tick for the act. But while you're doing the act, they will not allow you to be yourself, right? And the more I start to look at it, I'm saying, okay, what I wear, what I say, that's someone I've never been seen. You understand what I mean? I have never been seen. What's, forget the body. What's actually inside of me? We understand the heart's beating, 
We understand the lungs are being, so this is life. This is what the body is, is life itself. Now I, as the mind, have to take care of everything. Clean my teeth, brush my, make sure my body is safe. Now certain bodies, okay, certain minds go, oh, I'm not interested. And, and, and I'm thinking to myself, why wouldn't you be interested in your own body? But the mind itself, oh, I'm not interested. And don't forget how many people want to change their, well, rephrase it, not people, how many minds want to change how they, they look in the body? Mm. You know what I mean? Or how the body looks. And I'm saying to myself, care. hold on, the more I started to look at what I was doing, because of the elders I had around me. They spoke to me in the way that they were in educating me. You understand know what I mean? Now, the point about education, the more I look at the internet, the more I'm seeing exactly what education has done with books. It's what that person's put down in that book. Is it the truth? Is it really the truth? Or are we being educated to believe in something that someone wants us to believe in? That's really, really interesting, Ronnie, because I'm a person. It's funny you said that, Ronnie, because I'm a person who loves to read books, whether it's to do with art, whether it's to do with um, biographies, whether it's to do with life or business or sociology or scientific, anything where I can read the book and it's going to educate me give me self-education is really important on it and that's interesting what you say because it's about do we believe that is that the real person what's in this book you know there we go art art for me yeah is about us really understanding totally. our own heart understanding totally. who we are and sometimes i feel on it a book can really express who we are because i'm writing yeah. my book now and i feel that a book is very therapeutic. I talked about mm -hmm. therapeutic before, and I think it's really important that people can get really therapeutic because it, it can be in touch with themselves, Ronnie, and with their own heart and really understand who they are on a deeper level. Does that make sense, Ronnie? Because we're so distracted by external factors, we're not being true to who we are. And well, you know what? Happy and we start to suffer. Tell you what amazes me more than you meet it. You're muted, Ronnie. Sorry, can't hear you. You're muted. How the elders put together a system that we can still use today, right? And for the future, the calendars, which say I'm again, seeing... Again, sorry, you was muted there, my friend. So just say that again for me. Right. Sorry for that. It's all right. What it, it, you know what what really amazes me is that we've still got the calendars which were past coming now to the present 2000 yep as well as the actual clock we use it fits in to every place on the planet yeah get it and that to me is an amazing thing that is the projection of mind being able to go further than what the body itself would be able to do, and then be ready for the next generation of people who now come in to learn the concept of where the future is taking us. You understand know I me? Mean? Because in the future, we will have flying cars, right? In the future, right? There's going to be so much, but those calendars and the timing and everything like, and the months and the years are all going to fit in. All, and that's from the past. That's An amazing intelligence there. Amazing. And I think this is where I feel sometimes 
we are here, as you, uh, we call kind for a reason, mankind and womankind. The only reason why I say we are called kind, because we should be kind. You understand what I mean? And as I said at the beginning, different, we've got different cups, different, 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 different genres. That makes differentness all the same. You understand what I mean? And I think this is what we should be promoting, that not everyone wants the same day. So people are happy to have a different day, and we should be celebrating that this planet is full of differences for every different person in the world. That alone, Ronnie, is an art. And I call it, Ronnie, because we touched on martial arts, we touched on yes. artist work, yeah? Yes. That, for me, as a spiritual leader, that is what I call the art of living. So this there word goes. art covers everything in the universe, Ronnie, everything in our there lives. The word art makes us a very pure, honest person to who we are. We see true beauty in us when we understand how important the word art is for us yes. in our lives. I promote, and when I was teaching martial arts and things like that, that physical does not have to be violent. Yep, physicalness is part and parcel of our lives, but violence should not be. Yep, and so the point of how I trained the martial arts was that I would not break the egg. Yep, I will be I will handle the egg, look after the egg. I will not break the egg, because that is an art in itself. You understand what I mean? And so madness and anger was never part and parcel. Creativity, yeah, making sure that whatever I did, I knew how to actually, again, look after the people in my area, my surroundings. You understand what I mean? And I feel that is the most positive way to keep art going and keep it positive and share things. And that alone, Ronnie, is an art in itself. So you understand what sure. we're getting with this word and how beautiful it is and how important it is that people have so much qualities and beauty about who they are, Ronnie. But as Louis Armstrong said in his great song, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. To world. What a wonderful for world sure. it is for us to be born in this world, to be alive, yes. to have the art, to do all these qualities and virtues, what we do. Just how fascinating the world is. Everything in it. That's why I don't understand why people are so unhappy or there's so much happiness and restlessness and wars and destructions, you know? And maybe I believe this. did not have the art this, of mastering that in their own lives. Well, what I realised was, right, you've got two words. You've got good and you've got bad. And I looked at the two words, and then I realized, you know what? I will use good only to do good, okay? But I knew I could do good, use good to do bad. Get it? I knew I could because people trusted and this, so I could use good to do bad. And then I said to myself, right, if I'm going to do bad, I'm going to always make sure that the bad, you know, when you, you, you're talking about a smell is bad and this is bad and that. I'm going to make sure that people will see that badness so that they are aware of, I will not use good to do bad and I will not use bad, okay, to actually put someone in a bad position. You understand what I mean? Now, understand. that's your own conscience. We all have to have a conscience. We all have to make sure when we look in the mirror, we see ourselves, okay? That's the one thing which I always realize. It's myself I see, not the body, okay? And the last thing I want to be able to say to myself is that I saw myself going, ooh, like, you know what I mean? So I don't want to be acting. I want to be who I am, when I am, okay? I do not need to be seen, but there again, I realize I know how to conduct myself so that when I'm in the area I am in I will treat everybody the same way I would like to be treated that's all I can do 
I think that's really, really important, that Ronnie, because your behaviour and who you are is so important. I call it a role model. You are a role model to me, Ronnie. All what you've done with your martial arts, you've been a champion, you're a role model, you're a father, you're a grandfather, and you're a great man. And I think that word art, you express that, Ronnie, the person you are. And I appreciate you as a very good friend. And you've expressed to me the beauty of that word art. And we want to make sure that people live with this word art in their lives and realize how beautiful and how amazing we are as human beings to create values and to create love and to create a world where everybody can be happy. Yes. But you see, the good thing is I love people, right? I love people, okay? There's no one I do dislike. The only people I do dislike are those who are doing bad to other people. You understand what I mean? So, so, so the concept of me being able to see, thank goodness, the development for others to be able to walk in the same street I walk in, the same lifestyle to a certain extent, which it's got to be kind. We call mankind for a reason. We call womankind for a reason. Let's be kind. You understand what I mean? And I think this is where, as I start seeing, thank goodness I was able to meet yourself right and that's through john and people like that and i would honestly say the people who, who thank goodness i have got around me i love a lot because they set the example that i admire you understand what i mean and that's the key amazing Ronnie. but you know i can't see you now Ronnie. Things? so i hope i can get your lovely face back on screen <laughs> yes so it was a black title minute right yeah. the amazing thing though it's something which we all can share that's what i want i just want to share it well ronnie i want to share it with you i've Brilliant. met you from a good friend of mine called john bullock yes john bullock was like ronnie green they were martial arts experts it was thai boxing wasn't it, ronnie is that right thai boxing full contact karate Shotokan karate, kung fu. It's it, it, it's a multiple of different systems. As we are talking about arts, that's how I saw it. You understand what I mean? Um, to be able to look at an orange, yeah, and then actually say, right, with an orange, I've got a banana. From a banana, I've got an apple. From an apple, and it's about creativity and sharing that because not everyone likes certain things but you've got the opportunity to say to someone, you know what, try this or try that. You understand what I mean? And that's the thing what I loved about the arts. It tell, it's like shoes. <laughs> We've got shoes for all different sizes of feet. You understand what I mean? So no one should really be left out wearing shoes. And that's the thing about the arts, the martial arts and any other arts, it, it allows everybody to find what they like, which is important. Amazing. You know? Amazing, Ronnie. So, like I talked to Ronnie, because John Butter is a good friend of yours, he's a good friend of mine, and we networked yes. on Saturday, and I know that John Bullock, he does a pain point coach. John Bullock is a pain point coach. And he was like, Ronnie, yes. a, a professional martial arts, and there were champions all over the Europe. They were amazing guys. So John Definitely. Bullock, just pain point yes. coach, and you can get John Bullock at win at pain point coach, and he's a great coach. And what he does is through his martial arts, he coaches people to perform at a higher level under stress or under difficult circumstances. So his courses are very available, guys. He's a good friend of mine, and he's a good friend of Ronnie. And what I want Ronnie and John to do with me, because I'm a spiritual leader and I, it, must, it helps me to master the art of living in society whereas Ronnie martial arts and John Bullock helps them to master the art of their living through martial arts and giving back to society and the world and our communities so what me 
Ronnie and John, Ulrich are hoping to do, is design an event for it's on Zoom. Hopefully when we come out of lockdown, we can have a little event where we're going to talk about our lives to the youth and to people to encourage them the importance of their life and why that word art is so important and how they can make a yes. difference in society like me, myself, Ronnie, and John Bullock have done to create value in society and in our communities through our passions and what we believe are right for the world. How do you relate to that, then, Ronnie? Well, the good thing is, I saw the system called I Can Do, yep, which, in a sense, we all can do. It's given that opportunity to learn Okay, something for the first time, I'm, you know, it could be playing music, it could be doing math, it could be, but you know, you can say, you know, I can do this. Yep. Now, how we are shown, it's like buildings, it's like so many different things. The person who's teaching us and making us aware. Okay, I've never been that person who says, oh, look what you're doing. Yeah. When someone makes a mistake, that's when I say that's the time we're all going to be learning together because we're all watching it and going, ah, right, you understand me? Now, as you know, that releases endorphins, okay? So when we go, oh, right, you, yeah, did you see that? Oh, right. It releases endorphins, that intelligence and knowledge starts coming together as teamwork, you understand me? Which is key. And I believe as the more and more we use the word creativity as arts, yeah, the more you use this expression of a smile, you understand what I mean? In those points, instead of being stern and rigid and frightened, you can express and be relaxed and go, you know what I learned from that, you understand what I mean? And, yeah. and that's learning, we're learning every day. Every Monday is different from the first Monday we were born. Exactly. What does that mean? Eternity of life, born and born again. As from now, as buddies and teach, as from today, we're better people. Yes. We're learning every day, getting better. Definitely. And the, the other thing is, you know, when you start weighing things up, you're evaluating, oh, what, you know what I mean? I'm, I won't have time to do that. Or, oh, I'm going to have time. For... All this is arithmetic. Yeah. It's all sums. We're summing things up which we use every day like today even today me and you we talked about this what time okay no problem prepare right we go through this every day now if you would have had me nervous <laughs> right you would have, you know running yeah i wouldn't have been able to do this okay what you did rang me up let me know okay yes no problem oh yeah okay, oh, oh, yeah you understand me now i feel so comfortable why because you coached it right you helped me to develop that yeah you know what i can actually do this and that's all it really boils down to same thing what you said about john john is one one exceptional person right i was lucky to meet him and his brother right and the first time I met them, I thought it was, I mean, they were coming upstairs to Master Toddy's gym, right? And it did sound to me is that the Beatles had arrived. You understand what I mean? It was, <laughs> it was one of those. And there were five of them. They all come in and it was like watching the Beatles, right? The talent of these people, right? As well as their friendliness, which is the key thing. They, we all come to train, yeah? And you know, it's a physical thing but you couldn't meet, sounds funny, you couldn't meet nicer people. Yep. That's and that's why I promoted the physical does not have to be violent because when everyone meets everyone, it's with a smile, it's with just the normal way we should be greeting each other anyway. And we're dealing with physicalness, just the same way there's in the kitchen there's danger, but in a calm way. You understand what I mean? I and that. so of course what happens then, with people who are in the area, we trust each other. That's and really that important. to me is the trust key is really thing. Important. Trust is really yeah. important. You know what I mean? So John's a great guy. I, pray, I, great I tell guy. you what, I tell you what, I put praise for our parents before us and their parents and their, so they've 
passed down, just like what martial arts is doing now, they've passed down the past to the present that martial arts is very home-like rules and regulations. You understand what I mean? You've always got the black belt, like mum and dad, watching what we do, how we do things, with our brothers and sisters and people out there that we either get the nod, which is right, that's good, or the nod, get to your bedroom. You understand what I mean? There's got to be some sort of authority which we respect and we don't want to upset. You understand what I mean? That's how I see it. I understand that. I understand. You know what that. I mean? I never wanted my mum to be upset with me that I go out on the street and cause any problems. Didn't want my instructors, didn't want my teach. I didn't want anyone to go, oh my goodness gracious, what if I wanted them to be proud? And I think that's what it's all about. It's, it's all of us wanting our peers to be proud of us. Fantastic. Which is key. Very you know? valuable, Ronnie. I agree with everything that you say. Very, very valuable. Valuable. Um, I um, I love my family and the um, the values what they've had for me and the art and how they've lived their lives. Patrick McKenzie as well is a good friend of yours as well, isn't he, um, Ronnie? We're hoping to meet Pat, uh, Patrick McKenzie. A little bit about Patrick. He's another um, martial arts expert. Is that right, Ronnie? Obviously, a good friend. And He's a dancer. Me and him, actually, me and Patrick, right? We used to be in the same group, right? We grew up together. We, 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 we formed a dance and singing group. We won many competitions, yeah? Wow. And we, we used to train with me at my house. Me and Patrick, oh, me and Patrick used to, and his brother used to do the martial arts and train together, yeah? And... Okay. Dance is martial arts. Exactly. And that's how we looked at it. You know what I mean? I love that. Dance. Yes. And I tell you what about Patrick, though. Patrick is one of those people, again, who makes everybody feel comfortable and, and welcome. I'm really looking to meet him. And I'm really hoping, as well, Ronnie, that the three of us and myself, we're going to get together in the new year and get this event up. I'm running because I want to hear more about definitely. We well, see you the, have a story to tell. The good thing is, is yeah. yes, the good thing is the main thing which I'm which we are promoting this for is to show family values, it's to show where uncles and aunties and mums and dads play a big part when they're sending their kids out there in the streets. The skill of what they have put into their children is so important. You know what I mean? I never want to forget that. Never to forget. I want mums and dads to be seen, yeah, as their first teachers as well as their teachers. You know what I mean? Because it's an important part. It's what I saw with the martial arts that from each grade, from your white belt, which you first have, everything when you go from white to yellow to orange to green all these different things as soon as you look at that grade you, you know that oh right i know i know what i was being taught you understand what i mean it's that way inclined you instantly all oh, right yeah 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 and this is where the youth can actually go you know what i understand <clears throat> how mr johnson got where he was you understand what i mean that's the key thing because many of you don't realize, well, even now an astronaut got where he was. But he was following the way, the information that was passed down to him. And then it's like that yellow brick road becomes so clearer. You understand what I mean? This is the key okay. thing. That yellow brick, brick road needs to be cleared for, for the youth as well as the old. Thank you you so know, put the right. two together. Combine the yin and yang. Ying and yeah. Yang, exactly like everything. You know, and else. I believe Sun and the Moon. Totally. Right and wrong. Positive negative. Totally. Things combined together. Yeah. So Ronnie's just Well, don't forget you've got Mercury, you've got Mars, you've got so many different planets out there, so many different stars out there. That's how I see us as a human race. We don't have to know everyone. Right, but we do need to know that everybody is in the surroundings are looked after because the way we're teaching is the awareness that self will only exist with other people. You understand? We can't we can't exist by ourselves. We have to exist amongst so many different people. Because we're all you know? 
and are that's key. We are equal. Yeah. Well, the good thing about it, this is this is the key. We are all equal, right? We are all equal. Why? Because at the same time, right? It's not so much the power. You see, I can abuse people with power. Of course, I'm a good fighter. I'm a good martial artist. So I could abuse people. That's not the key. Okay. The key is knowing what self-worth is all about. But at the same time, when I'm standing or sitting next to the cook, the chef, or I'm sitting next to the mechanic or sitting next to the painter or a drawer, look how the community themselves benefits. You understand what I mean? Now, if I keep myself to myself and not want to talk to anyone, okay, the point as I see myself is, is that the value is life is worth living rather than me being isolated. You understand what I mean? I love that. Ryan. So I when I do thank goodness pass away, I can honestly say, you know what? I'd really have to live my life. No regrets. Which is key for right. all of us. No regrets. No regrets. I've lived. No regrets. Learning, no regrets. learning. I tell you, I tell you what, all right, let's put it this way. When I did wrong, which I have done wrong, I've said to myself, I am sorry. I've said to the people, I am sorry what I have done. Because really, you only know so much only after, in a sense, see if it, but I knew it was wrong. You understand what I mean? Yeah. My mum always used to say, don't ever tell me you don't know why you did a thing. You know, I couldn't say to my mum, oh, I don't know why I did it. I had to, I got some acts. But she would she smack me more if I had said, oh, I don't know why. Because I was already told. And so the main thing I have to actually look at myself and say, right, the same structure can be left. Yeah, instead of breaking the park bench, I leave it for somebody else to be able to sit down. You understand what I mean? I'm we have to right. think I'm for right. the future of our children, our children, children's children need a better world. I'm we can to, do this. We are going to create. Does that a, mean we all can do this? Yeah, we all can do this. Ronnie's been valuable, hasn't he? I mean, I just well, sat here absolutely hypnotized by what he's actually been saying. But I think um, <coughs> what's really important, guys, is that we are trying to plan this amazing event where we're going to be all individually talking and sharing our stories with pictures and about our lives and what we've done in our lives to inspire the youth. So we're looking for a youthful audience. We will be doing an event. We've got our application forms and putting things together. And we're going to host an event where we can get youth to develop and see their creativity in their own lives through hearing from experts and great pioneers like John Bullock, Ronnie Green, and Patrick McKenzie, and myself, and other people, we're going to talk about why we feel art is so important and why we need to adapt it into our youths, into our communities, and in our society and where we live today. So ladies and gentlemen, please look out for that event. We're talking about it now. If you're interested, give us some feedback, leave a comment below, hit like and share, on this YouTube video, if you really liked the content on what me and my dear friend Ronnie talked about today, the importance of that word art and how we adapt it in our lives and in society. So Ronnie, leave us with a few words before we close down, my dear friend. I've loved speaking to you today. I've got so much value from you, like I always do. A few tips for the viewers. What do you like to say? Right. Well, I, I'm, I'm really glad and happy that I'd met you, right? And, and I heard so much about you. What I like about you was the concept called we. Get it? The, 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 the concept was we. You, you approach it in that way. You, you, you are promoting a concept which means that it's about all of us. You know what I mean? It's not an I. And this is what, you know, you, you, you talk about Patrick, you talk about, but you talk about so many other people that we, we all can be there helping, right? The next generation to help the next generation to help the next generation. The we is the most important part. And Excellent. that's what I love about yourself, Frankie. You've approached it in such a 
honest way, which includes everybody as well as yourself, because really you, you play a big, big, big part. But while you're playing that big, big part, thank goodness you, you're using it to bring so many different people together, which really that's what the world needs. And I think that is great because you are about we. Thank you so yep. much, Ronnie. That was very, very sincere and kind of you. I really felt the heart, heart is beautiful, Frankie. I really felt your heart. Thank you so much, Ronnie. I really appreciate you. Thanks for coming on this YouTube, this video today, this channel. I hope you've really enjoyed it, ladies and gentlemen. My pleasure. All you lovely, beautiful people. Really think about what we said and remember this event. We'll publish it and let you know about it anyway. So we're going to be doing that this year. I'm really excited about it. So you know what you need to do, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe, like and share. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Ronnie Green, thank you so much, my dear friend. I really appreciate you. Thanks for coming on. And I look forward to speaking to you again, Ronnie. Thank you again for watching. Thank you, viewers. Take care, Ronnie, my dear friend. Cheers, pal. Thank you. Best you to well. everyone as well out there. Okay, have a good day. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice.